dear friends of MV, I'm excited to see you here. I hope everything goes well with you. It's my great honor to introduce the scientific research of quality Peptide products. This is an amazing product with three uniqueness. The first one, the product integrates the traditional wisdom and modern science. We used a traditional herb, chrysanthemum flower. Its benefit for skin health has been well documented in Asian books. The modern science part is that we use modern technology-based collagen peptide and soy peptide. The effects on skin health has been addressed by modern science. The second one, we use superstar ingredients, chrysanthemum. Why I say this ingredient is a superstar? Because the research from soy to extract of chrysanthemum are at global leading level. The research we did in ABRC is amazing. ABRC is Amway China Botanical Art Center in Wuxi, China. And I am not sure if you have heard about this center, but I strongly suggest if you have a chance, you should come to ABRC. This is a very beautiful place and always welcome you. The last but the most important one, the function of this product on monastomy improvement and antioxidation has been substantiated by multiple scientific research, including clinical study. Here I would like to highlight the use of dual peptide. One is a wild cold fish collagen peptide. It's a marine based and another is a peptide from non-GMO soy. It's a plant-based. The combination use of meringue and plant is much better than single use. Because it was found the fish collagen peptide could stimulate collagen synthesis. The increasing of collagen will make your skin better and better. Besides, the collagen peptide will increase the Hyaluronic acid synthesis level in human skin to improve skin condition. Similarly, the soy peptide could also increase the type 1 collagen generation. But the difference is that soy peptide has uh, other benefits such as antioxidation. Together, use of them could have surgery effect for skin health. Here is a takeaway for you. Do you know how many methods could be used to uh, handle as the collagen protein to peptide? The answer is more than three. However, among of them, chemical hydrolysis and bioenzymatic hydrolysis were often used. Chemical hydrolysis often use acid or base for catalysis. This method is non-specific hydrolysis, has many disadvantages. For example, it, it's easy to generate byproducts, and the hydrolysis process is not easy to be controlled. The amino acid configuration is easy to be destroyed, so the peptide product quality is unstable on the chemical hydrolysis condition. However, the bioenzymatic hydrolysis is more specific. Comparing with chemical hydrolysis, the advantages of bioenzymatic hydrolysis include less byproducts generation, easy controlled process, the smaller molecular weight of peptide, and more stable amino acid configuration. To the best of our knowledge, bioenzymatic hydrolysis is the current best technology for protein hydrolysis. The most important point I would like to emphasize is that the peptide ingredients in our product exactly use the bioenzymatic hydrolysis technology. Then I would like to introduce more about the ABRC signature ingredients, chrysanthemum. Chrysanthemum is of great importance to Chinese, as well as Chinese culture. It's a symbol of the noble character of people. It's widely used in 
ornament, tea, healthcare, and medicine. It has been used as healthcare ingredients for improving liver health, eye health, and skin health since Han Dynasty. In 2017, a scientific research team assembled by, by ABRC and collaborated institutes has uh, completed criticism whole genomic sequencing as the first time in the world. With that, the full nonce transcriptions genetic information of Han Bai Ju has also been explored. Han Bai Ju is an important medicinal criticism species. So this work is an important milestone in the study of criticismal. We have published our results on General of Molecular Plum. This journal is pressed by Oxford University and it's the top one plant general in Asia. The whole genome, like a genetic map for a species, Take Hanbaiju for example, scientists may follow this map to discover a new variety of Hanbaiju with better bioactivities, higher yet and better pest resistance ability. Actually, we have already discovered a new Hanbaiju variety like that. This is exclusive by Amway. We just need a bit more time to achieve industrialization before it can be used in our product. In addition to this remarkable achievement, we also have conducted in deep studies from soil to extract to control the quality of criticism. We have selected an as the best criticism from hundreds of varieties by breeding studies. We have found the suitable soil environment with red compost and the microbiome for criticism growth by soil studies. We have established farms for criticism production with China and American organic certificate by farming practice. We have established internal standard for criticism extract and clarified the substantial basis of bioactivities by standardization studies. All these studies are in order to provide high quality criticism ingredients for further product development. Nutrient transferability philosophy goes beyond the system for documenting the production of each lot of products. In order to ensure we keep our promise to consumers, we also consider a program for identifying beneficial botanicals, designing of finished products, and qualifying our supplies. We start with the end in mind. The benefits and experience we want to deliver to our consumer, then use each of these steps to document our work along the way. By the time we are ready to ship, we can be sure that we have a high quality product that is pure, safe, and effective. Thank you. For quality peptide development, we have a 316 decision metrics from addition to market. All the ingredients were screened out step by step. The formula was finalized on the overall consideration of pre-functional study, clinical study, formulation study, and consumer text. Firstly, we have conducted multiple in vitro biases, including non-cell based models and cell based models to evaluate the antioxidant and vitamin activities of our candidate ingredients. Using these models, the best collagen peptide and the best soil peptide from different supplies and chrysanthemum 
from 19 botanical ingredients were picked out for further text. And after testing 15 different combination ratios, the best ratios of quality peptide, soil peptide, and quick sesame in formula was finalized. Meanwhile, the function of soil peptide and the quality peptide on skin elasticity were evaluated on a 3D collagen nitrous model. The smaller of the 3D collagen nitrous arrow, the better of the elasticity. We found that UV treated could reduce the elasticity of 3D collagen and both collagen peptide and soy peptide could improve the loss of UV-treated 3D collagen nitrates. In addition of that, we found collagen peptide could significantly increase the mRNA expression level of elastin and fibronectin. That would be the underlying mechanism of collagen peptide on elasticity improvement. These results have been published in Journal of Cosmetics Dermatology. After that, the antioxidative effect of the dual peptide combination has been validated in pre-functional study. Multiply and the oxidation related index in blood, in serum, and liver samples were measured. The result found that the combination is able to enhance the level of antioxidants such as SOD and GSHPX, and can decrease the content of oxidative end products such as MDA and protein. This is result indicating that the combination could enhance in vivo antioxidation ability. We have published the results in the Journal of Public Health and Prevention Medicine. Beyond of that, we also have validated the melasma improvement of fellow formula through another pre-functional study. The skin physiology and the melanin content were measured. We found what they say is markers were significantly regulated by our formula in vivo. The result verified that the final formula has the potential of molecular improvement. Also, from this experiment, we found that duropeptide and chrysosome have surgery effects on um, melasma improvement. Similar to other studies, we also published the result in general of traditional and complementary medicine. As the most important part of scientific research, clinical study have been conducted to invalidate the safety and the efficacy of our quality peptide in the treatment of facial melasma. Melasma is the most common pigmentary disorder among Asians. Some experiment together with endocrine disorders, genetic factors, medications, nutrition deficiencies, and hepatic dysfunctions are risk factors for melasma. Through the clinical study, we have not only substantiated the effects of our product to improve melasma, but also proposed a new evaluation method to the China government in the old protocol issued by China government for melasma evaluation. The facial melasma error and the color grading measurement are required. But the measurement method is outdated, not accurate enough. In our MV Shanghai RD Center, we have established a skin text label. In this label, we have many advanced devices which could provide more accurate skin parameters 
for skin melasma error measurement, the old protocol suggests to use skin plates. It's a very rude, it's a very crude method. However, in Emory Lab, we have Visha imaging system, which can capture high quality standardized facial imager for clinical research. This imager system could not only analyze the facial melasma error, but also provide more quantitative parameters for facial skin features, such as L value, A value, B value, and eta value. L value represents uh, color brightness, and A value indicates colors along a red to green axis. And the B value indicates color along a yellow to blue axis. Enter value indicates the lightness of skin pigmentation. An enter value over than 55 degree represent a very fair skin. And an enter value less than 10 degree represent a very dark skin. For facial melasma color grading, the old protocol suggests to using uh, to use China color card, which only has twelve gradients. In our proposed new method, Japan Japan color card with ninety five gradient was used. Obviously, the new card could provide a more accurate grading of facial melasma color. In, addi in addition to the update of skin tone color scale, we also propose melanin index and MASI for evaluation. MASI is molasma error and uh, severity index, which was graded by dermatologists. And melanin index could be measured by device uh, maximometer. So based on our strong capability in skin test, we have conducted two round clinical study to validate product function in uh, molasma improvement. The first round study was conducted in internal skin test level. Besides evaluating the product function, this study has a, a purpose to in investigate the new method. In the study, 62 female with molasma was recorded. The duration of intervention was two months. We found uh, oral intakes of our product for two months could significantly decrease the facial melasma error and the facial melasma color grading and MA acid grading. Our product was effective in reducing the hyperpigmentation of subjects with melasma. The second round was conducted by collaborating with government labor with the purpose to validate the new method. The same as the first one, we also reacted 62 female with molasma in the second study. The difference was that uh, the placebo controlled group was set for comparison in this round. Similarly, we found oral intakes of our product for two months could effectively enhance skin brightness and reduce melanin index suggest the positive effect of melasma improvement. Taking the two studies together, the new method we proposed worked very well to evaluate the melasma improvement function. Most importantly, the two studies substantiated the melasma improvement claim of So that's all I would like to share with you and thank you for your attention.